All right, so today I have my full coverage, flawless face routine for people with shitty skin like myself. Sorry for the weird angle and lighting and things like that. It's like six o'clock right now, so I'm trying to make it work. To be completely honest, I really don't have a set foundation routine. I like to switch it up and try different foundations, but this is the one that I use most often. Like I said, I have extremely shitty skin, which you wouldn't tell because I wear a full coverage foundation pretty much every day and in all of my videos. Um, so if you are looking for a foundation routine that's going to cover up your imperfections and I don't know, for me foundation just kind of like boosts my self confidence. My skin is the one thing that I'm, that I hate about myself um, and if there's an easy fix for that, foundation, why not do it? I keep looking over here because my viewfinder is like right here. All of the products I use will be listed down below if you would like to know. So really quick before we get started, just so you know, the first like couple minutes of the video is a different angle and really horrible lighting, but it gets better. I figured it out. So yeah. If you guys want to see how I get this full coverage look, then just keep watching. All right. So here's my face with no foundation or face makeup. Clearly, I have breakouts, redness, freckles, all of that good stuff. Here is my skin up close. I obviously wear full coverage foundation pretty much every day. I just like the look of full coverage foundation. Um, I like my skin to look flawless. And it is 95 degrees and I'm like sweating balls right now. I always use a moisturizer and primer and setting spray before applying my, my foundation. So the moisturizer I use is Neutrogena's rapid clear oil-free moisturizer that's supposed to reduce your breakouts as it's on your face. I just like it because it's light and smells good. My all-time favorite primer is Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind. You definitely, definitely need a primer before you apply your foundation. Just makes it go on way smoother and just overall look better. Then I use either my Urban Decay All Nighter or Scandinavia finishing spray. This one is like empty right now, so I'm going to be using this one today. And I just spray this on my face before and after I apply my foundation. Basically, I just spray like four or five squirts on my face. I've talked about this stuff in some of my other videos, but it is freaking amazing. It makes your makeup stay on so much longer without getting like oily throughout the day. And I love both of these sprays. Where is it? This one and this one freaking amazing. It'll change your life. So my two all-time favorite foundations are the Maybelline Superstay and where is it? Revlon Colorstay Whipped. These are amazing full coverage foundations for people with acne or shitty skin like mine. These will be your best friend. Depending on if I have self tanner on or not, I use shade Sand Beige and Porcelain Ivory and kind of mix the two. Or I will just use Sand Beige and then if I want a dewy look, I use the Neutrogena's Healthy Skin just to kind of lighten it up. And this is in the shade Ivory and give it that like illuminating look. So I like to apply my foundation using the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki, Kabuki, Kabuki F80. The link for Sigma will be down below. I freaking love this brush. It just blends your foundation super nicely. Um, so what I do is just get it out. I just kind of dot it all over my face. And my parents are home. This stuff doesn't dry too fast, so you don't have to worry about blending really quickly. Sorry if you can hear the garage door. So I just take my flat top kabuki and kind of pat it and buff it into the skin at the same time. So already you can see how like nice of a finish that gives and I know this looks darker than my body that's why I'm going to add the other shade after. Alright, I flipped the camera around because I feel like this is a little bit better lighting, so I'm going to be looking in like both views. Um, so then for concealer, I'm going to be taking the Dermablend Cover Cream in Rose Beige, and I am obsessed with this concealer. Basically, I just swirl it in my finger and then place it under the eye, 
and kind of down to the triangle area. I like to kind of rub mine in and then also pat it to kind of set it. And we're doing the same thing on this side. Hopefully this is good enough lighting. And I also like to put this on my nose just to cover up any freckles or things like that. And then on any other acne spots or zits or things like that. And you can find this stuff on all cosmetics wholesale for like super cheap. That's where I got mine. I wouldn't pay like the normal 24 bucks or whatever it is. Okay, so then I'm going to set my under eye concealer with the Sigma Round Kabuki F82. This is really difficult. Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Porcelain 110. And this is a super good compact brush for packing on powder, so that's why I like it for the under eye area. And I'm just going to swirl it in there and then press. You don't want to blend because that's going to wipe off the concealer and foundation that we just put on, so you just kind of want to pat it into your skin. So then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the same powder, but I use the e.l.f. powder brush. It's just easier to put all over your face with. I just kind of press it in again. You don't want to blend. Okay, so then to bronze, I'm going to be taking Wet n Wild's bronzer in goddess i think it is yeah this stuff is super pigmented so i like to take it with a huge fluffy brush and i'm using elf's powder brush tap it in there so you just want to apply it to your cheekbones and then up a little bit into your forehead to kind of contour your face a little bit Since I want kind of a flawless, illuminating, whatever look, I'm going to be using Elf's Blush in Peachy Keen. And this is one of my all-time favorite blushes. It has a super pretty, like, sheen to it. And to apply it, I'm going to be taking Elf's Complexion Brush, which looks like this. And we're just going to apply this to the apples of your cheeks, obviously. Again, I like to tap instead of rubbing. I don't know, I just feel like it applies better and doesn't rub off any of the work you've already done. Okay, so the last thing I like to do in my face is apply the Mary Luminizer um, Bronzer by The Balm, and it is so freaking gorgeous. It's one of my favorite highlighters ever. It is pretty pigmented, you only need a little bit of product, so I apply it with this stippling brush. Um, this is just going to make it so not a lot of product comes out. I just like to tap it in here, and then you're going to apply your highlighter right above where you applied your blush. I'm just going to give you that really pretty glow. I also like to apply a little bit, bit of this down my nose, and then on your cupid's bow right above your lip. Last thing I do is apply the finishing spray again. Do the same amount of squirts you did before. All right, so this is the finished look. This is pretty much what I do on an everyday basis. I've gotten a lot of requests to do this video, so I hope this lived up to your expectations. If you like this, click the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in my next video.